seven years ago, it was um, the spark of an idea uh, to um, gather already established First Nations musicians together and say, do you guys want to step sideways and learn more about composing and uh, connecting with that sector? Um, so uh, that was really positive uh, with the first cohort, which included people like uh, Brenda Gifford, for instance. What I love about this initiative um, and about Ensemble Lost Springs' contribution and participation in the initiative is that we're meeting together. You know, it's like, uh, it's not redoing history, but it's, it's re-understanding history, you know what I mean? And we're doing that through music, and we're doing that in pieces of time. You know, each piece that a composer brings, like, you know, uh, Elizabeth Shepard or, or Brenda, Troy, Tim, you know, myself, we, we kind of give pieces in time, pieces in history, you know, and, and we're kind of working through it together. And so with my piece, Patarian Motawariki, I've given, you know, that those words in language, um, Milkakari, um, Paliputharan, um, Thera, you know, so there's all these words that I'm bringing and I'm learning myself. So this is like a great learning journey for me, as well as for, you know, the player um, and for the listener as well. So it's like that beautiful, um, everyone's participating. Recording today a piece by Aaron Wyatt and uh, Monk, Mark Ross and Marlene Cummins and uh, so a, a different cohort of composers and similarly uh, finding new ways of cultural expression through contemporary music uh, composition. So it's just, you know, pretty exciting. Yeah, it's, it's been fantastic seeing the piece come to life uh, because of course when you write it in whatever notation software you're using you just have these really horrible MIDI sounds that kind of give you a general idea of what it's going to be like um, but you know when you actually see it come to life with the proper timbres and with all the the nuance of, of gesture and dynamic it's just such a beautiful process. Now uh, we're on that classical next long list, which is an international award. And, um, even to get on the long list is great. So hopefully we'll get on the short list and maybe even clench it. But even if we don't, there's that international recognition and um, um, eye, if you like, that international eye of other uh, classical organisations and new mu music organisations is uh, looking at uh, Narrabarria and what all the partners are doing there now and, and really hoping for the success of the program as we do. You know? We're always looking for new composers for the program and so we're really excited to see who, who pops up next as part of Narrabarria.